What's going on guys? We are back once again and I want to talk about the Flash Armageddon crossover that we have recently. And it was only five episodes, but I'd rather just go ahead and start talking about it because I know it was recent and probably everybody's all oh it was it was amazing, it was this, it was that. And if you liked it, that's perfectly fine. If you didn't, that's fine too. But the entirety of this crossover really made no sense to me. Because once again, it was just Thawne trying to take Barry's life. That's all it really was. And it was so stupid because it was pretty obvious. And with the one Desperate, like he was a crappy villain. He was. Or, or anti-hero, however you want to just place him as. Now, it was nice seeing Ray. It was nice seeing Black Lightning. Batwoman, I really didn't give a crap about. Seeing, uh, you know, Mia, you know, Catherine Renamer return was amazing. But it just, again, it felt like it was not a good crossover. It just felt like it was your normal, you know, crappy writing from the writers of CW. And it was, a lot of the times I, I found myself, because I just kept skipping certain parts. I didn't, there, there was parts I didn't care about. Like, for example, where they're finally like, okay, let's let Thawne die naturally because of his own doing, and then Joe stops him. That was stupid. It was like, come on, really? You are going to stop this man that killed you, that caused your family harm, and you're going to allow him to live. Wow. And then at the same time, you understand the reason why Mia wanted to kill Thawn because of all the things he's done. And even Bear, even Iris, finally, you know, Iris gets her head out of her ass and agrees. Oh, hey, you know, I agree with Barry for once. And it's like, oh, wow. But then finally, as soon as Daddy says something, you change your mind. It just, it was, it was stupid. And then having everybody say, oh, well, where's Joe? And then finally realizing that he is gone for some reason unknowing to our knowledge and then realizing that he somehow died no one knows how and same thing for i i don't get how aurora, uh, aurora and the other guy that his name just keeps flashing my my mind because he's not that important i don't care about the relationship they're really wanting to push their relationship i guess in, in the last this crossover and i could really care less uh, because I just, it's boring. It's just very boring. And we have Caitlyn getting a little more screen time, but then we get a little bit of Killer Frost. There is a rumor, apparently, that we're going to be seeing uh, Robbie and Mel come back as Firestorm somehow, as well as we're going to be seeing more Bart and Nora, which, again, I don't mind, but at the same time, they really need to work on their, those characters because if they don't, there's just going to be more issues. I think the only good cameo I truly liked was Mia because... She actually had a reason to show up in 2021 because she was looking for her brother. We still don't know where William is. We don't know who took him for sure. And she's still been looking for him. And she's been trying to find him. And she is acting more like her father, which I love. I like how they're really imitating, you know, Stephen Amell's, you know, arrow into her. And at the same time, wondering where Felicity is at this point. Because I'm assuming, I would assume she was dead. I thought she was dead. At this point. So now it's kind of seems like she's alive. So it does, does not make sense. And we even got to see Damien Dark return. To give uh, Flash a hand. Even though he was a villain still. But he got more redemption to see Nora one last time as well. And we even got to see you know Black Lightning help Flash. But not in the same way that I guess everyone thought he was going to. To try to take his speed. And then ended up fighting him a little bit. And then ended up helping him. So again. Flash has this downhill spiral that they've been doing for a while due to not knowing what the hell they're doing and i don't know if this is just because the writers have become lazy or because they try to make it you know i, I just i don't know man i really don't know how to say it because it just seems like the more they try the more they fail to try to appease fans and the only thing i liked again was Mia returning a few of these crossover a few of these you know cameos like Ray returning and that was about it and seeing Barry get his boots finally after all these years was cool it just it just feels like to me Flash has lost its its magic that 
it, it just that's how I feel. I feel like Flash has lost the magic that that it has, and it's been like that now for several years. And now that we're going into this current season, it just feels it's going more downhill. I mean, it's pretty much I feel like Flash is on life support at this point. And if we get this is going to be the last season, apparently there was a big rumor that this may be the last season. Then it just needs to be the final season because if it if it is not the final season then we're going to be in trouble because now with it going on eight seasons, I'm surprised it passed uh, Arrow at this point because I didn't think it would. I don't see, I just, I don't know why they try to make certain characters important when they're really not that important. They're more, again, of a side character and they should stay a side character, but they don't. And I don't understand the reason why CW always does this, especially with its hero shows. But overall, guys, What'd you guys think about this? Was it worth a crossover? Was it worth to watch? Is it worth even mentioning Flash now? Because the more I keep talking about it, the more... Because when Flash comes on anymore, I don't go, oh, hey, I gotta watch Flash. And I miss that. I miss having to do that. And, and, and I used to do that with Arrow. I used to do that with Legends. I used to do that with... Uh, you know, Supergirl, Black Lightning, and all that. I don't do that anymore. I just, I don't do it anymore because I feel like they just drag it out so much and they make the characters so crappy and so cringe and the writing, and I, I'm not sure if it's even the actor's fault or if it's the writing. Again, I don't know anymore because it's just at the point where you just want to say, okay, you know what, I'm going to wait till it's on Netflix or I'm going to wait till it's on Hulu or hell, even out on DVD because at this point anymore, it just, I can see the reason why Fans have lost interest of the Flash, and certain. And I've met fans that have not watched Flash since season two or three, and they see certain things now. They're like, "Yeah, I'm glad I stopped watching during season two, three, or four, or whatever, because it's gotten worse." And it and it has, unfortunately. I, I, you would think by now Barry would know what he's doing with leading his team, but he doesn't because Iris always questions him. Uh, you know. Aurora does when she has no right to. Even Cecile does. Even Joe does. And it's just stupid, man. He should know what the hell he's doing. He's been a fucking veteran for over eight years now. He should know what he's doing. But no, no, no. You gotta listen to these ones. Oh, he's a hero. Oh, well, I know. But at the same time, it's immoral. Come on. Like, look what Thawne's done. You should have just let him die. But no, they're probably going to use him later on in the comics. Or, 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 or like he would in the comics. Again, that's how it always goes. But to anyone in the real world, again, we're all going to be looking like, dude, you should just let him die. So, again, those are just my thoughts. Again, I love seeing Thawne. I think he's one of those villains you really can't get enough of. And that's the reason why they keep him around. He's that villain that you always know is going to come back. Always. He's, he's like that horror villain. He's like Chucky. He's like Freddy. He's like Jason. He's like Michael. He always comes back. One way or another, he always comes back. So, that's the way I look at it. But what was your thoughts of the crossover, guys? Did you like it? Was it okay? Was it was it crappy? What was your thoughts? I personally like to know down in the comments down below. Is it even worth watching Flash anymore? Have you guys even still watching Flash? Did you stop watching Flash? Did you, I, I think this crossover sucked. I really do. I think the best thing, again, like I said, was Mia and Ray coming in and helping, you know. But, again, I think the main highlight for me was seeing, you know, Mia come back, you know, as Green Arrow. I thought that was amazing uh, because, again, I liked. I would have liked to see how they would have done Green Arrow and the Black or, or the Black Canaries and the Green Arrow. I love to see that, but again, what we like and what we get is two different things. At the same time, I'd be worried about that show, which I did talk about a long time ago. But either way, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.